Hi, Mark Heath here, and in this video, I'm going to look at a few more Morelink extension methods that are perhaps slightly different from some of the other ones that we've looked at before. And that's because they have to do with side effects. So the first one we're going to look at is called pipe. And I've got um, an input array of data here that is just a list of player names. And there's a few kind of very regular bits of link in here. I'm going to say where the length is less than five, and I'm going to select the name as uppercase. And so if I just run this part, and, and this dump at the end, by the way, this is just LinkPad's convenience method that prints out the output into its results window. So if we run this, we'll see this is the bit that dump is doing. It's just printing the output of the query. So I've filtered to only the items with a length of less than five, which is just check. And then I've converted to uppercase. So what's pipe doing? Well, pipe is allowing me to kind of intercept the values as they flow through the pipeline. And so uh, this pipe here, every item that comes through this stage in the pipeline, which is all of them, because it's right at the beginning, I'm going to be given the value and I can just call any action I like. So I can do any type of side effect. And one of the most common things you'd use this for is some kind of logging. So if you wanted to write it to a custom logger. So I'm writing um, before filter and you'll see before filter, every player is mentioned. But then I've got another pipe after the filter and you can see only check is after the filter because it's the only player name less than five. However, it was before the two upper. So it's still lowercase there. So pipe is really good for diagnosing problems and writing some log output. However, you do have to be careful with side effects. One of the real appeals of Link is it brings some functional programming concepts into C Sharp. But of course, as soon as you do functions with side effects, you're breaking some of the fundamental rules of functional programming and you're introducing potential bugs. So use this with caution. Logging is a fairly safe thing, of course, to do with a side effect. There's another very similar method, which is just called trace. And that saves you the effort of writing out if you only wanted to do a trace dot right line, this will just do a trace dot right line of everything that comes through. And you can optionally give it a custom format string. So I've just traced everything at the beginning. And then after the where clause, I've said trace after filter. So if we run this, we'll see just the names traced and then Here's the trace after the filter. But again, everything that goes through trace is just passed out unchanged. We're just using it for its side effects. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. Now, one of the things you may know about uh, link in general is that link expressions, I enumerable sequences are lazily evaluated. If I say new array, so this is an array, and then I follow that by where, this has created an I enumerable of string, but it's not actually run yet. I've not actually filtered this list, this array of players until I were to for each through this. And if I add on a select, I'm still not actually going to cause the items to be pulled through the pipeline. And likewise, pipe, the method that we looked at earlier from more link, it's not actually going to cause the link pipeline to be evaluated. So what if I wanted to evaluate this? What if I wanted um, to pull the things through the pipeline because I wanted this side effect in the pipe function to happen? Well, what the consume method does is it's just like saying for each, but with nothing in the body. So for each element in this sequence, just do nothing. And just the very act of getting the elements through the sequence will cause them to be pulled through the pipeline and cause this method to run. So if I select this and run this, as we'd expect, we see consume check because that's come through this pipeline, but there's no link pad outputs here. Consume returns void. So there's, there's no output at all. All we've done is just pulled everything through the sequence and then thrown it away at the end. And we're only doing this to get the side effects. Now, actually, you're unlikely to use this very often because more commonly, when you want to do this type of thing, you'd actually just like to say for each element in this sequence, do something. And that's what the for each method does. The for each, if you like, combines a pipe and a consume into one method call. 
And so I've got the players and I'm just saying for each player in this sequence, console.writeline. And so if we do this, it's no surprise. We're just going to see for each and then each name. Now, if you're familiar with link, you may know that the list object in the .NET framework has got a for each method. And I very often see developers convert sequences to lists just so they can use this method. And that kind of feels like a little bit of an inefficient way of working. So if you really do like for each, then use this more link one, or if you'd rather not, if you'd rather just write a regular for each statement, I think that's a fine way of doing it as well. But this um, for each on an I enumerable does save you going through that unnecessary extra step of converting to a list.